Hello everybody, this is Jesser and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. And I'm just starting off from where I was before, but we're gonna get this first aid kick for kick kit. And we're gonna then continue and see where we need to be. That's not how you type on a keyboard. Like you need to be over a little bit more. So it's not like someone's just watching me. Is someone watching me? I don't like being watched. It's not a very pleasant feeling. I always wonder what it'd be like to actually be in one of those because I, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be something interesting or not, but it'd be interesting to see what's going on in my head. Not in it, but the activity of it. And then let's grab this key to entrance. Uh, what was the key before? Was it just a key? So anything else? Okay, now I gotta find uh, where this key goes to now. Oh, there's a key. There's a there's a key card right here. Is this go with this? Was the wrong key? Oh, it is the right key. And it's the exact same sound again. Yes, it does. It's the exact same sound of the game. Like I I, I know it's not from that game because this game came before it. I believe I don't know. And this came in 2010. Uh, like the legitimate one. one. The director's kind of came out in 2013, but. Uh, the game came out like in 2012, I think. I think it's just a free sound effect that they can use. Well, I'm certainly am in the. Entrance. Can I not just leave? Nope! It's not gonna let me, that's for sure. So I gotta do something. God damn it, you got a shotgun. And you also got a shotgun. Don't point that shotgun at me, dude. That's dangerous. Okay. So I guess I gotta kill them. Let me. Just let me kill them. It sounds like a saying calling me an asshole. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I want to reload. There you go. Oh, I thought it was crawling at me! Oh, that would be nerve-wracking to have that crawling at me. I would not be happy if that was crawling at me. Not at all. That's That would be super creepy and I would be like, Nope! Out of here! <sighs> what just happened? I have no idea. Bait, normal war, use it with fishing rod? Oh, it's normal now. Okay. Morgan, if you're so desperate. Why not smoke two at once? It, uh... da, da, da. That's right. Stop your smoking habit. It's a bad one. We're gonna keep smoking. Oh, whoa, whoa, that just jagged. Who's that old man? Some old dude with a mask that's, that's Harry. probably dying. Harry Stewart. One of the bigger problems around here. His father started up the lumber trade and founded this town. He's a weird one. I have him sure you can see it. Always dressed like that. Never speaking to the townsfolk. And just FYI, he owns almost the entire town. What does he not own? Any difference. So long as I'm around. Then what does funny business. Then what does he not own? Uh, that that face right there. Why do you wear a mask, dude? Harry Stewart, mysterious capitalist. What's in your throat? You probably die, don't you? 
Taste won't lead you to what you seek. Keep your eyes focused on your footing as we speak. So says Mr. Stoop. You like open your mouth so wide. <laughs> nice to Why? How did you know my name? Everyone knows your name. It's not a person that Harry does not know. Information desires you, just as you desire information too. So says Mr. Stewart. That doesn't answer my question. Harry, stop trying to get in our way. Keep this up, and even you'll have to answer to the law. Mm. And probably then he'll probably pay his way out of it. Mr. Francis York Morgan, with each rain, our power goes mad. To our disdain, unprevented. So sad. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> then we shall depart, Mr. Francis York Morgan. Oh. Yeah, there was a picture that I found that was interesting. It was what the game's character was supposed to be, what York was supposed to be. And he was like a young, kind of like shaggy hair. That's how he like, always is. Always I don't know. Nonsense. Typical anime hot guy <laughs> that's considered hot. Emily here. If I remember, I'll be putting on screen like oh. right now, right here. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Agent York, we've contacted the first witnesses to the crime scene. You can interview them where they found the dead body. Excellent. I was just about to ask if you could take me there. And now I will go. It's just, I don't know why this area sounds like there's always coffee being made. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, uh, number, total number of days, total enemies defeated, I defeated 56 of them? Wow. Um, I didn't think it was that much. Okay, really wasn't expecting that. So now we'll save and we'll continue. Turkey sandwich, an unbelievable delicious turkey sandwich will satisfy a large amount of your hunger. What's on top? Like, that doesn't look like a turkey sandwich. It looks like a moldy turkey sandwich. Like, everything on there was moldy. The body was found in the Greenvale Forest Park. That's west from here. Too far to walk. A forest park? It's the pride of the town. It has a beautiful trail leading to a viewing site over Velvet Falls. That does sound fantastic. Show me the sights. Uh, that may have to wait. We promised to be there by 1800 to interview the first witnesses to the crime scene. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out... What the f- oh, I don't want a flashlight. What is this? Go ahead. That's fine. I just want to go see what this is. There's um a thing right here. And I don't exactly want to miss it. What I don't know what this is. <sighs> Oh, this is just to do it again. I'm done with this. I didn't know that was actually to go do that again. Okay. Well, can I use any car? Ooh, can I use this car over here? Nope. I can only use cop cars. Okay. Um, I, What I don't know is how you... I don't know if you can fill a car up with more gas or it just... <laughs> or I can just not j figure out how to drive first. Okay, so it tells me to look at the map first. So let's see where I'm going. So I guess we go, go straight across this. And a left. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go back to where I am and just do a step at a time. Because I know I'm going to get lost real quick if I do this. There's a fishing spot. There's a race. Is that what that is? Oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna be doing I'm going to be doing every single achievement and I will probably show me doing every single achievement and I will probably make a video with every single achievement on it unless it's like a longer achievement but uh, first we are going to go that way. I want to go back. First we gotta go down this hill. Let's do this. Oh my god, I can't see. Jesus. I like how like going in boost like completely changes. Speaking of eighties movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in eighty three. Directed by Douglas McKinley. Right. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The so this car feels super fucking slow. <laughs> Overtaking you, bitch! I am so good at driving. Overtaking you, bitch! Yeah, honk at me! Do it! I dare you! You know the monster in that one responded to sound. You know, honk at me! Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. I think that one was back in '89, directed by. Why are you stopped in the middle of the road? Seen the first one though. Jesus, this this driving is so floaty. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I was doing. I was on my two wheels. That's sweet. God, this driving this game is terrible. Slow. Gotta get some air. Well, I got no air whatsoever. Cool. Love it. I don't get air. Tremors. I think Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward, and I say, uh, Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. <laughs> Damn, I'll be more careful. Five, I, think. I wasn't expecting it to actually Just flip my car over. Sinanju, the ultimate in martial arts, using no weapons at all. Remo's master Chun ran across water, remember? And he loved soap operas. Man, that was a good character. He was played by Joel Grey, the best supporting actor in Cabaret. Of course, in Remo, he had so much makeup on, you couldn't tell. Can I talk more? Oh, nothing. Oh, so I guess there's just a spot that I was actually supposed to talk and I got it right. Well then, fine. Okay, I guess I'm actually here now. Cool. Didn't get completely lost, but I wasn't exactly... This music's really calming a little bit. You tell us to come here, and then you keep us waiting. Is this the way the FBI treats their own people? Hello, George. I just had some things I had to do. You really are pushing it, you know that? I'm sorry if I upset you, but it was important to stop. To me, at least. That isn't the issue here. We are in the middle of a homicide investigation. He's not listening, George. I think we both know by now how little he thinks of other people's feelings. I'll be more careful from now on. I promise. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me Will. It's what everyone calls me. And you are Jim Green? That I am, son. I keep these woods. Well, you're doing a fine job. Well, I used to be a tree surgeon. And these two discovered the body? Yes, my grandchildren, Isaac and Isaiah. Zach, you 
see that? Twins. Just like in my dream. We gotta keep an eye on these two. I'm sorry. Could we talk away from the boys? I want to help your investigation, but I don't want them to hear this. Very well. Emily, you please? I'll just take them over there then. Thank you. Hold on. Don't do anything without asking me. These children were the first to witness the crime scene. I want to talk to them. Come on. They're just kids. They have no idea what really happened to Anna. That doesn't matter. You agree with me, right, Zach? How heartless. Do you ever think of other people's feelings, ever? Emily's right. That's stone cold, even for the sake of investigation. Children see things in pure, simple terms. They may have seen something we adults would never spot, and they are here at our request as well. We could at least chat with them and see if they want to make a statement. Are you serious? I never joke about matters like this. <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry. They aren't as fragile as you think. Look at them, standing so upright. Now then, Isaac, Isaiah, tell me, what did you find here? Anna, she was so pretty. She had a red dress on. Her hair was shining. Bright gold hair. There were lots of animals around her. Squirrels, weasels, and a snake. A real snake! We didn't know until then. But we know now, Anna was the fairy of the forest. She was the goddess. She smiled when she saw us. She looked so happy. That's right, Isaac. Isaiah. She was a fairy. A goddess. I'm sure she is playing with those animals even now. Of course she is. Yeah, of course. Most useful information, boys. Well, Emily, you can take them now. Okay, Zach. This is where Anna's body was. And that means our unsub, our unknown subject, was here too. So, what happened here? Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. Well, I'll call the end of this video. So if you'd like this, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't get a like, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you will see more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.